Hello and welcome to our video where we're going to be talking about Bing search engine ranking factors. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Yeah, good morning, Chad. Uh, we're talking about Bing. It's been a busy week for Bing. It's kind of fun to be covering Bing here. Uh, we don't usually do that. Usually the conversation is dominated by Google, but uh, Bing in the news here. Of course, they had their Bing It On challenge controversy, which we covered in a previous video, so we won't dwell on that. Uh, we talked about that a few weeks ago. Uh, there's also been a release of a search ranking factor study put out by Search Metrics. I want to dive into that. And also notable and in the news for Bing is the rollout of their authorship like feature. Uh, so chasing Google on that uh, and probably chasing Facebook a little bit too. So let's let's dive into the ranking study. Uh, last Friday, um, just one business day ago, Search Metrics put out their search engine ranking factors for Bing. This is a similar study that they do for Google, and it's nice to see them covering Bing because we don't generally see a lot of discussion about that. But they're really trying to tease out what are some of the differences between the search engines and, and help us all you know, think about whether it would be good to have a diversity of search engines out there. Here are a couple of the high-level stats for you, Chad. About 25% of the page one results in Bing also appear in Google's page one. And about 37% of the domains on Bing's page one are also in Google's page one. Those numbers actually are lower than I would have expected. I thought the overlap would have been higher, which probably uh, fuels this controversy a little bit about which one is actually better. And I know there's all sorts of claims out there. I think with all these studies, though, we always caution uh, that correlation is not causation. But uh, these are some interesting top line numbers uh, for our internet marketing community. Yeah, absolutely. And to dive a little bit more deeper into some of the factors that they, they came out with, there are really five things um, that they said drive the were the primary factors for Bing search engine rankings. The first one is number of backlinks. It's no big surprise. But what they appear to have is not quite as of a, elaborate of a, um, a method for filtering out good links from bad links as Google does. We know Google obviously has been rolling out a lot of anti-spam things like Penguin and Panda to counteract that. Another one is that definitely social signals seem to be a, to play a part. Um, as you mentioned, though, there's there's probably more of a correlation than a causation there. That again, good content tends to probably get both backlinks and get mentioned in the social in social media. Another one is that content matters. Uh, and and one of the real interesting factors here is that on average, Bing page one results tended to have about a hundred words more than the same than than the results that Google sh showed on page one. So you know, Bing likes a little bit more content than Google. It's interesting. Uh, and then uh, finally, uh, top brands um, definitely seem to be weighted. And again, we know this from domain authority with Google that um, the bigger brands tend to have a better presence in the search engines. It seems like even with Bing, it's even more so uh, to a certain extent. Again, I think that comes back to uh, some of the ideas, that, some of the things that were, where Google is a little bit more, has more sophisticated ability to look at backlinks that maybe Bing does. And then uh, the final one here is that because of this, um, of, of a little bit more reliance on on-site factors, there is more importance on getting your metadata and keyword density and all the other things uh, right in, in Bing compared to Google. Well, cool. So a couple of takeaways, at least from where I sit, is one is, you know, it's probably time for people to try the Bing and On challenge if they haven't. I know a lot of perceptions out there were shaped several years ago when Bing, you know, relaunched uh, from the previous iteration of, of Microsoft Search, and I think a lot of people had a fairly negative perception. They tried it uh, at that launch and didn't feel that the results were of the quality they want. But it's now several years later, and it's probably try time to give this another go. I know, at least from you know, sitting in the internet marketing community, I think we'd have a more healthier industry if there was uh, better competition and not such a clear leader that could almost be considered monopolistic. And I think the second point here is, you know, kudos for Bing for really stirring up the pot here. This this marketing event, you know, that if you call it that, this Bing and On challenge and, and what they've done with their PR around it, definitely a lot of controversy, but I guess it kind of comes back to the statement, you know, no press is bad press because even if people are throwing rocks at some of the numbers they put out, it's got us all talking about it and if it results in more people using the search engine and actually doing these types of comparison studies, that's probably a good thing for the industry. Yeah, absolutely. And I think you, you mentioned the um, they actually rolled out their Bing It On challenge in the UK. And again, they claim, and we just talked about some of the uh, a study done here that refuted some of the, the US results, but similar results in the UK where 53% of people surveyed in a blind sort of search test, if you will, uh, preferred Bing results over Google. 
Um, 34% preferred Google, and 13% said they were equal. So again, pretty interesting um, that that's where we are with this. With this. Yeah, and maybe they'll make some headway. Maybe by picking these different markets, they'll prolong the controversy. Maybe they'll actually uh, pick up some audience. So we'd be really interested in your views. We'd like to know if you've tried the Bing It On Challenge. Put a comment in. Let us know. Share your uh, thoughts on how good the search results are. And if you've enjoyed the video, we sure would like it if you would subscribe.